welcome back to my channel. My name is Jordan. If you're new here, hi, welcome, hey. And if you're not new here, hi, welcome, hey. Welcome back, girly. So today, we're just gonna do a little get ready with me. Well, I'm like pretty much all ready. So we're just gonna do makeup. But I literally have like, I have 13 minutes, but obviously I'm not gonna be able to do 13 minutes. I'm gonna try and give myself like 20 minutes. To do this, I'm not gonna do anything too complicated or whatever. But with that being said, let's just get right into it. But before we do, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I don't know what side it's on, but subscribe to my channel and like this video. Like this video, cause you know what's gonna be a bop. Let's just get started. So first things first, we're gonna hydrate. So I have a new product that I wanna try. So Bondi Sands had sent me, not this one. Okay, focus, focus, focus. There it is. Bonai Sands had sent me one of these pure face tanners. The one that they sent me was a face mask with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C, same as this one, but these ones are drops. I saw this in store and I was like, I love the mask, so I really wanna try this. So you mix this in with the moisturizer. So I'm just gonna put some of my moisturizer here on my hand, give this a little shake. Don't know if you actually need to do that. Add four to 12 pure self tanning drops to your moisturizer. Excuse me. Mix well and apply evenly over face and neck, avoiding eyes. Increase the number of drops, result in a deeper tan. Okay, so all the drops. Let's start with four today, because we don't know what can happen. It doesn't smell like much, which is good. Let's make sure we get all the way up in this hairline. Because my little egg head doesn't need to look, doesn't need to draw any more attention. I don't know if you guys can see. Wait, hold on, let me <clears throat> stop choking myself out before I talk. I don't know if you guys can see, but looking straight onto me, this ear is sticking out. That's not because I have uneven ears. Maybe I do, but that's not why. It's because my ear is very swollen. I think my little rook that I got done in Mexico got infected, and I'm still standing by the fact that I say that that was the best piercing I've ever got. It did not hurt at all. The whole like next few days and weeks, it didn't hurt, but I've been foolish. I've been foolish, so I'm just gonna put on some sunscreen. I've been foolish and like sleeping on it and like playing with it and just like not being clean enough with it. Like I've cleaned every day, but I've just been touching it far too much and now it's infected. So it just got super swollen like this yesterday. So I'm just trying to like keep it really clean and not bother it too much. Ew, I feel sick because I drank coffee. I didn't eat, I like always do that, so stupid. All right, let's hope I get brown. I think I need to go wash my hands. Yeah, wash hands thoroughly after use. Always listen when a product says that, because sometimes, because <sighs> if you're not listening, you're gonna have one chance, and that's just it, that's just it. And if they're not orange, they're gonna be dork, okay? Dork, and not in a good way. All right, next up, Gilly Goosters, we're gonna start the makeup. So first things first, I'm gonna put down a base. I'm gonna use this L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This, I don't know if you can see, I think you can see. It's like super iridescent and glowy and I love it. It's similar to the, well, in my opinion, to the Charlotte Tilbury Halo Glow and the e.l.f. Wait, no, Charlotte Tilbury. Mine's all scratched off. I don't know what it's called. You know, the OG, the OG, and then the Elf Halo Glow. I said the name's wrong. Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm just gonna rub this in with my hands because it's not like, I don't really have reason, actually. I really don't. Too, too much coverage. Look at that glow, girl. Then I'm gonna go in with this. Lancome, Lancome concealer. I don't know how to say this name, but it seems like French or something. I'm not about to embarrass myself. So a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. So I'm just gonna put a couple dots in the areas that are a bit red and that I need more coverage. So I'm gonna do under the eye. And do I wanna use a sponge? Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and All right, I said a little goes a long way and then I put like nothing on my chin. So I looked like a fool. And then I'm just gonna use the sponge with this because again, like, 
I'm not a full coverage girly. This stuff, this concealer definitely is full coverage. It's got really, really good coverage. But I just need a bit of coverage just to make my skin look like perfect skin. I'm just going to go on my little bit here because I am going to do a little eyeshadow. Nothing crazy. But I do want to get like the veininess out of my eyes because I have quite veiny lids. Look at her. Beautiful. Okay, next up I'm going to do eyes because I'm going to use some tape. I'm going to use some tape to do just like a really soft smoked out eyeliner. And I'm thinking I'm going to do like dark green. It's like quite dark though. It's barely going to look green. But I'm going to take a little piece of tape like that. That's not helping. Like that. Okay, it's clear. That's not going to help. And then I'm going to follow my lower lash line. Like just going to follow it straight up. Kind of place it exactly where the lash line would follow and then making sure that like my top lid doesn't touch the tape for sure and I did my foundation first just because like this obviously does take off a bit of makeup but it's not enough that I think it's worth it to try and do like full base makeup after the eye I really hate doing that I do we look even I think I need to lower this one a bit and we can always do it lower and then just like clean up so I'd say like when in doubt, place your tape like lower because you can always take off the tape and then clean up to make it like higher up. But once you take off the tape, if you did it too high up and one's too low, there's no fixing it. I'm sorry. You're doomed. You're doomed. Next up, I'm going to take this Morphe palette. This is, my, this is my little label on it. It's the Artistry palette 35M Boss Moon. And that's what she looks like. And let's see what I'm going to do first. Well, first things first. I'm going to make sure I don't have any creases in my eyes. I'm really not trying to do anything like crazy. Alright, I am going to use this palette. Mainly the Morphe palette. But I'm going to grab this Pretty Rich Too Faced palette. Just so I can use this light, like, white pale color up here. Right, I'm just going to take kind of like a fluffy, not too dense brush, but denser than a blending brush. I'm going to put a little bit of brown on the outer corner and I don't want it to like bleed too much on the inner corner. And I just feel like this white will kind of brighten up the inner corner a bit and help me to not bring that brown in too much because I always be getting carried away. I'm always like, oh, I'm going to do something soft. And then I look like a dry queen. So I'm bringing this show like just above the the crease and kind of just like buffing and blending bringing it like almost halfway on the eye and then of course like if you don't want to do a white or bright inner corner and you don't want to have any kind of color in the inner part of your eye then definitely still do a setting powder or something so that you're not stuck getting creases all right young lady so that's literally all I'm going to use from that palette so we can put her away. I'm trying to decide if I want to start, I think I need to start with like the brown that I want to use first. I'm going to take this brown color here that looks really orange on the screen. It is quite a warm brown. But I'm just going to take that on a fluffy blending brush. I'm like shaking off the excess because I really don't want this to be too dark. And then I'm starting to fill in this outer corner here. Starting to V it a bit above the crease. It's a loose term to say I'm like making a C shape or a V shape because it's a fluffy brush. So it's kind of like getting a bit of everywhere. I am going to bring it in like all the way towards the bridge of the nose. But because I have that, that whitish color there, it shouldn't be too intense there. And then I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. And I'm bringing it in about halfway on the lash line. And then I'm grabbing my two favorite brushes as of late. They're just like these cute little, they're both Morphe. This one is the V203 and she's just like this teeny tiny little buffing brush. And then this one is the M443 and she's just like a pointed brush that is so good for like eyeshadow eyeliners. Much better than an angled brush like this in my opinion. I'm gonna go in with this brown color here on that like somewhat pointed brush. And then I'm gonna start stamping this out like I would an eyeliner. I like to make my eyes look lifted. So I don't bring it all the way, I don't bring my liner or like eyeshadow liner all the way on my whole top lid because that'll make your eyes look more round. Where I bring it is kind of where my eye starts to go, where my lid starts to be downward facing. So I'm just going to bring it halfway and then when I'm doing the outer corner I'm making sure that when I'm looking straight forward 
that my eyelid doesn't touch the eyeliner because once you do that, like if you're looking down and you do your makeup like this and then you look up, same for eyeliner, you're going to have that weird like like little sliver that's not attached to the rest of the eyeliner and ain't nobody wanted it, okay? I'm well past that 13 minute mark that I have mentioned. I've just really been in the mood to film a YouTube makeup video. And so me going to meet up with a friend was just the perfect reason. I'm gonna take that little other more dense brush and I'm gonna like start to softly buff this out. And then I'm gonna take this little green girl, the lighter green in here. Oh, I don't know which one I just stabbed into. I'm gonna take this like olive -y one here and I'm just gonna softly go over what we just did. Just like, I have a little towel on my lap. I'm just like periodically wiping off the excess product so I can really like buff this without just mixing together the colors a little more than I want to. <laughs> Girl, this lighting is so, you see, I'm like a ghost. <laughs> okay, the moment of truth. We're gonna take this tape off. This tape is the freaking worst for this because it's actually way too strong. How does she look? Good? She looks good, girl. Let's, let me actually see in a mirror now. Anything I need to touch here? Nope, I don't think so. So what I'm gonna do now is just put a teeny bit, do I dare? Yeah, I'm just gonna put a bit of this concealer on my cheeks. And then I think I'm actually gonna take a brush just for starting to blend that in. I don't wanna go willy nilly in with my sponge and then I accidentally dabbed the the line because that's <laughs> that's when you f it up. This is a bit harsh out here, so I'm just gonna take this little brush with the concealer on it and like lightly dab. Oh, I love it! So cute. You can like hardly tell that it's green, but I'm fine with that. I just kind of wanted to like feel like I was doing something different. I'm gonna take my sponge again and gently dab around the eye area. Careful not to f it up. I'm gonna move on to brows. I'm not doing anything special, my dudes. So I'm gonna use this Secrets of Faro eyebrow pencil. I got this from TJ Maxx and I love it. It's this micro pencil here and it's the perfect color for me. This is in shade Natural Brown. And I'm just gonna kind of like fill in any sparse areas and try and make these girlies even. I take this Sephora like brow mascara from the Sephora Collection brand. I like this brown mascara, but like I like the formula, but this freaking brush is so rough. I feel like I'm taking, what are those little fuzzy things? Never mind. I'm just gonna go off real trying to explain what those are. Pipe cleaners. Thought I wasn't gonna be able to think of that. Pipe cleaners. They're like little pipe cleaners I used to play with when you were little. And if you had grab a big bunch of them and you scratch them on your hand, that's how it feels. That not that you would purposely scratch them on your hand, but when you did scratch yourself with those little pipe cleaners, it hurt. And that's how this freaking brush feels. It's like the bristles are so rough. Well, I feel like I'm like scratching for damn rough on my <laughs> freaking eyebrows. I'm gonna put mascara on real quirk. This is the MAC, MAC Magic Extension. My eyelashes are lifted right now, which I'm obsessed with. If I didn't have my lash lift, freshly done, then I wouldn't even consider not using a half lash or a whole lash. All right, let me do the other eye and then we'll decide if we wanna do the half lash. Okay, mascara's on. I really like that mascara for the way it looks, but oh my God, it has like little fibers in it that are always getting in my eyeballs. Okay, and then I just decided I wanna do a bit of brown on my under eye. And then I'm gonna take that little brush that I used earlier, that little Morphe blending, or not blending, buffing brush, and I'm gonna take that same brown. I should have done this before mascara. Hopefully it doesn't make my mascara get all fudged up, but, and I'm just gonna bring that in like halfway, I think. No, that was a lie, a little bit more than halfway. Okay, perfection. So next up, we're gonna do this NARS cream, con cream concealer. This NARS cream bronzer that I got at TJ Maxx, which I was so gassed when I saw this in there. I think I got it for like $13. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna take this Real Tex Technique brush. This is 206, no I think, contour brush. I got these at TJ Maxx too, love TJ Maxx. I am a rider for TJ Maxx. 
But yeah, I got that one, this NARS cream for like $13. And then I got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer for like $15. And Girlies was gas. Cause I love both those products and I just don't spend money on makeup. No, <laughs> let me stop myself before I blatantly lie to you. I spend a lot of money on makeup. So, but I also like quantity because I always like to try new things and different colors of different things and whatever, whatever. So I try not to spend too much on like any one product. So $36 for either of those bronzers is like, no, I just can't bring myself to do it. Even though I love it, I just can't. So when I see things on a bargain girl. <laughs> All right, so we're doing the usual spots the outer bits of the forehead and then just kind of like bring it in right at the top here just to look bronzed. Oh my God, this friggin' lighting is just too much. It's just too much, I can't see. All right, hopefully that's good because that's where that's gonna stay. And then I'm just gonna do the sides of my chin here along the jaw to give myself a bit of like a more square chin. I have quite a like pointy chin. So I'm gonna try and square it out a bit. Square up. <laughs> And then following the rest of the jaw and then just buffing that down. I'm going to do nose contour real quick. I'm just going to take this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer that I was just talking about. I do love to do a cream bronzer. I feel like it's so much easier, but I don't want there to be any shine whatsoever. I'm going to take this flathead brush and dip the side of this in here. A bit of a diagonal. And try to get that all the way under the brow to buff it. Make it look seamless. I'm just gonna go under the nose to make my nose look more lifted. And then we can just kind of clean up the sides a bit. No excess product or no new product on this sponge. And then I'm just gonna use that blending brush that I had earlier. Okay, next I'm gonna take this little neon gel liner from LA Colors. And I'm gonna use that as my nose highlight. Do a little dab there and then like kind of like right above the tip because again I want it to look lifted and add a little dot and then using the heat of my finger just dab that in super gently and I'm just swiping back and forth with this beautiful and okay next up I'm gonna use a little blush balm I freaking love this this is the what is this makeup revolution yeah, Makeup Revolution, this is in Peach Filter. I'm obsessed with this blush. It's like actually all I've been picking up. I love a cream brush blush in general, but this one is like so glossy and it's just like the perfect color for my skin tone and for what I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna dab that over here. And then I'm gonna take this elf, I don't know what this is. It's probably a blush brush. I have two that look the same, but and I'm gonna gently like dab this kind of in like a sweeping motion. Oh my God, oh my God. At, like literally every time I put it on, I'm like stunning. It's freaking gorgeous. And it's look how like easy it blends and like no patchiness or any harsh lines. It's just absolutely perfect. I do quite like to go like right under the eye here on the outer corner. No idea if it's even. Hopefully if it's not, you can't see either. So now I'm gonna set my face. What do I wanna use? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use another Makeup Revolution Candy Haze Setting Spray. It smells so freaking good. And then I'm just gonna grab my sponge and press in any areas that I think might need to be blended a bit more or that get creasy. Yet. Then I'm gonna go right in with some powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. I think this is a, I think this is like a powder foundation. Actually, I don't think it actually says that. I don't know, Maybelline Fit Me Mountain Poreless Press Powder is the best. This one is in 110 Porcelain. That's literally how it makes me look, like a little porcelain dolly when I'm done with it. So I'm just gonna go over my, under my under eyes one more time because girlies, girlies are aging. I'm gonna get that on the tip of the powder puff here and I got these little powder puffs on Amazon right in the corner and then a little bit like down the side of the nose I don't like to do too harsh of lines down the side of the nose but I do get kind of like a triangle here I'm just gonna do the center of my forehead and I'll take my blush girly one more time no new product on here unless you want to build a little more 
Mm -hmm. I love that product so much. And what a great like spring color this peach fizz one is. That's okay, now I'm gonna pop on these half lashes. I don't know what these lashes are. I've had them for a minute. This is how they look. They're like a bit tapered on the outer corner and obviously they're already cut. And then I'm gonna take my duo glue, our trusty gal, put a bit on my knuckle. This is the only technique Shorty does. And then I take my little lash applicator tool, set that down and then I need to take this lash glue off so I don't get it on everything I'm wearing cause that's happened one too many times. All right, hopefully this is tacky enough. I don't friggin' know. But we're just gonna go for it. Go just a bit further than halfway out. That was suspiciously easy. I wonder if it's like not attached at the top or something. <laughs> oh my god, who is she? Why was that so easy? Was I recording? And I was recording. <laughs> what? Oh my god. That was so easy. I They're not necessarily like super difficult to do, but that was like suspiciously easy. Hell yeah. Okay, girlies. Now we're gonna do lips. I'm gonna use this NYX Suede uh, Matte Lip Liner in Cobru. Cobruster. All right, so I'm just gonna line my lip base here. Cobru, Cobru. I was trying to go for something soft and now I'm doing like this dark ass lip. Classic Jordan. All right, I'm gonna come back to you when I'm done with this cause we could be here all day. I just kind of buffed that in with the pencil. And now I'm gonna use this. I'm obsessed with this lipstick. It's like the most beautiful packaging ever. This me Meve, this Vive Modern Matte Lipstick. This is in shade coming in hot. H A U T baby. Well, it's a crusty, but what's new? Okay, I put that in the center of the lips, and then I'm just gonna use my finger to buff this to marry these two girlies. How are those lines? Is that too harsh? Okay. okay, I feel so pretty. Wait, who is she? Who is she? Guys, that is the final look. I, I am stunning. <laughs> right, you guys, that's the final look. I, I love this so much. I feel like it's more of like an evening look, but why not Thursday at 11 a.m.? Also, am I on schedule? No, that took me an hour, that took me an hour, so I need to call and see if I can even still meet up with my friend, but I'm gonna meet a good mate either way because my makeup's done. And also I'm not like a ditcher, I literally just called him this morning, he doesn't live here, whatever, anyways, regardless. I love the glowing skin, but it's like matte in all the right places. The eye is just stunning. Gassed how easy that eyelash was to put on. Nose contour, very intense, but I'm loving it. Ah, I love this. If you liked the video, make sure that you do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more of this. Hit the notifications bell if you want to get notified. And follow me on socials. And that's it, baby girl. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. I love you and I appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. But without further ado, let's get started. A bop. <laughs> bop, bop. <laughs> on the top, you see? See. You see? You see? Come on, you got it. And then... And then, and then, and then, and then. What the hell? Come on, girlie, don't do me like that. Jesus. I always end up looking like a drag queen and I'm not mad at it. It's just unintentional, that's all. You know what I'm saying?